Hi, it's all 975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on Console. And today we're going to go here. Uh, this is kind of the last official sightseeing stop of my tour. Uh, only thing left to do now is the voyage home. And uh, this was the last stop we wanted to make, which was the Hell Planet. Uh, super dangerous planet where it orbits in a neutron star. Very hard to get to the planet itself because the exclusion zone is so large. You have to kind of wait your moment, sneak in, get in front of the planet's orbit and let the planet hit you in the face. But it is pretty cool, the fact that that planet orbits inside that cone. And it's pretty lethal. If you're on the surface in a ship or you're not fully on the ground, you will get cooked. Uh, if you're in your SRV, you will survive randomly, even though you would <laughs> probably get turned to mush by the uh, radiation. I don't know, but it's just an uh, awe-inspiring sight. One of the coolest things to see in the game, one of the coolest places to come in the game. And uh, yeah, me and Scooby had a good day out here. Um, this is like two and a half hours of footage condensed down into an eight minute video. Uh, it took us a while to wait for the planet to come around, then a while for the planets to orbit. Um, but it was well worth it. It was a great experience. Here's me eking out my heat sinks, waking, waiting for my temperature to get to the right point. Because uh, I'm short of heat sinks and short of materials. But, you know, I've only got the return leg to do. So, I think um, I've got a couple more videos in this series to come. And I've got one video looking back at some of the coolest sites that I've seen. And, I'm, like, you know, discussing what this trip's been about. And uh, then we'll have the journey back to the bubble. And then it's fun and shenanigans, the craziness, piracy, all the stuff you're used to on my channel. And I think that's me done as far as exploration is going. I might do some more day trips. We got some places recommended to us on this trip by you guys. And uh, me and Scooby have said we might do some day trips out to them in the future. But on, on the whole, I think my exploring days, um, yeah, are fairly done. I think from now on I'm going to enjoy life, life as a scallywag pirate in the bubble trying to rob the remaining player base as much as possible. Um, you know, it's it's going to be a struggle to keep the console version alive because um, what with the console transfer being announced for September, it's going to be interesting how many players we lose to the, con uh, to the transfer to PC. Um, I myself will transfer my account or at least create a copy on PC. Um, I do have a copy of the game on uh, the Epic Store and you know I'm just going to do that because maybe one day I, you know I'll switch on a PC and play it but I plan to stay on console I plan to stay on Xbox uh, I'm just like I say just you might as well copy it across there's no reason not to really but Ultimately, I want to stay on Xbox. I want to continue playing on Xbox. I want to try and keep the Xbox community as alive as possible. Because I just feel Horizon's version on Xbox is actually the superior game in a lot of ways. Uh, we have canyon racing. We have fun epic stuff that's now been taken out of the game. Uh, for, the, for those primo, primo lovers, we still have the Crystal Shards. They don't have that on PC. What will you do? Uh, <laughs> but yeah. No, not a site I frequent often, but I have taken some newbies up there in my time to get their bits for engineering. Oddly, I tend to trade my materials up because I spend that much time mining, or at least I used to. I, my cash grinding days are kind of behind me now because it's like I've got, um after some things that happened. It's like uh, I'm I might grind cash if I need to help other people. But ultimately, I've got enough credits in this game to last me until the end. I don't really see much sense in doing it. I might do some mining to relax, uh, which I know sounds weird, but I do find it relaxing. And it's also something I can do while I'm doing other things around the house. Because uh, I can quite happily walk away from my controller and walk back. Because even though I'm in open, no one's going to find me in the middle of a asteroid field in the middle of nowhere mining. Or at least it's very unlikely. The only people that will find me is one of my squad mates that sneaks into the wing and then sneaks up and takes my drives out while I'm AFK, tending to the cats. Can't think which sort of player would do that. Oh yeah, it was Scooby. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I honestly, I don't. As far as what I'm going to get up to, I think it's mainly going to be piracy as much as possible, some 
a little bit of smatter in a PvP now and again won't hurt anyone. Um, I'm sure we'll uncover tons of salt because us in the Dark Marauders we seem to attract salt quite heavily. Um, we've still got a lot of enemies in the game so always fun with that. And um, honestly this trip out in the black was really nicely relaxing. It was enjoyable to be away from all that noise and silliness. To, uh, to switch on Discord and just read the rubbish that's on there. Um, and just sort of be like, oh, it's got nothing to do with me. I'm 60,000 light years away. Was really enjoyable and it was kind of nice. I'm not the biggest person for using Discord. If someone adds me, I'll probably go and have a look at why they've added me. But I don't tend to get involved too heavily on there. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that have really weird ideas about me, but they don't actually know me, so it's kind of weird. A lot of it's projection and, and like random like theories about things which they have no idea about. Uh, but, you know, this trip was wonderfully relaxing because I wasn't involved in any silliness or salt. Even though I do find that entertaining, it can be tiresome and bothersome. Like, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, really? It's a game. It's a video game. It's pixels. You're arguing over pixels. Like, really? You know, is this the most important thing you've got going on? Look, <laughs> I need to um, I need to raise some money for an animal rescue, and I need to go and build some chicken houses. Then I'll be back. I'll open up Discord, and I'll argue with you for a bit longer. Then, uh, it's it is insane. Some sometimes I do wonder about the age of the player base on Elite Dangerous, because uh, a lot of us are getting way too old to be uh, behaving the way we do about pixels in a video game is hilarious uh, but you know I can't help it I'm a bad person I love salt I love salt mining so I might have upset a few people um, you know it's just gonna happen if you interdict people and try and rob them some people get annoyed with that some people still consider us to be gankers and griefers um, even though we pirate people and the people who call us gankers and griefers are the people that tend to enforce the law by ganking people. So, <laughs> so you've ganked way more people than I've ever ganked. How am I the, how am I the bad guy in this? Uh, yeah, random. But, as I say, if you ever get a chance, come here, see this site. It is freaking amazing. It is really cool. And it's nice to be able to condense it down into an eight minute video. Um, sorry about some of the wonky, shonky camera work. It wasn't perfect. But, you know, I'm old. I'm not good at video editing and I just thought I'd throw it all in there because it is just a really fun place to come and a really nice place to visit. So that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.